after you've put your vote in the ballot box, you may wonder what happens next. Well, all the ballot boxes from the polling stations are taken to a count venue. At the count, there are four stages of the proceedings. The verification. This is a check that the number of ballot papers issued are actually in the box. The separation into candidates. This is where the votes cast for each candidate are separated and counted. There's also the adjudication of spoiled or doubtful ballot papers. There are four grounds on which a returning officer can reject a ballot paper. Want of the official mark. Voting for more candidates than the voter is entitled to. A writing or mark by which the voter could be identified. Or a ballot paper that is unmarked or void for uncertainty. This is where an elector has not clearly marked their vote. It's essential that you ensure that the cross is placed in the box by the name of the candidate you wish to vote by. The deputy returning officer will determine whether such ballot papers are eligible for inclusion in the count. And finally, he'll declare the results. Once the formal election result has been declared, that is the end of the count proceedings. Successful candidates are given a successful candidate pack, which contains lots of reading material and advises what they must do before they can attend any council meetings.